back to my channel. So today we're just going to do an IC chip scrap marathon again, where we uh, just remove IC chips from the boards and then we'll move to a different component next time. I've refilled this red box again. I've, this, I think this is part six now. So we've got these today. We'll probably do about an hour again, because it seems to be our average time I like to do on this channel. Not got to fill up with ICs. So we'll start nice and early. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because once I reach a thousand subscribers I'm doing a 24 hour live stream. Start with this board, start with a nice one. Remove the quads first. I'll weigh it at the end as well so you can see the amount of um, gold we got. See the quads off. I think today would be a nice day for chips. Be a lot of big ones today. It would have been quicker if I'd just done big chips at one point and then on another video done little chips it would have actually saved us time but because we keep swapping from tool to tool. Oh. LEDs often contain uh, gold bond wires as well and they get processed the same way. So any LEDs, just throw in with it. Another one, nice little chips. Let's see if we can do a whole video without dropping a camera. <laughs> camera always falls. Let me know if you like these videos. I notice each video I bring out gets less views each time. So I don't know if it's getting boring. I will be moving on to another component soon. Hopefully that will uh, get your attention again. Pull this metal piece off. I have some ICs underneath. I'm looking at the type of board this is. It should be pretty decent ICs. I think I can see some quads. Yeah, a little quad there. This is stuck down well. There we go, metal back it off. And then you've got a little quad there. I see. And then another quad, but this one I have to move with a uh, chisel. I'll be doing another video at some point where I remove, when all the boards are empty obviously, the gold plated, enig plated dots of all the boards. Each of little ones and one medium sized chip. On my last video, I got rid of all those boards I didn't like doing. So I've had all those, those are gone. I'm sure I'll find some more at some point. Some transistors on here. They can contain gold bomb wires and they get processed the same. It's a little round, roundish looking. I can get to it. As you can see. Round looking things. A uh, bit chip in there. Little I see inside there. Uh, on this little board attached, there's a little I see. Another board with little ones mostly. Let's 
hope we can uh, get mostly large ones, get our weight up. They all pretty much yield the same by the end anyway. Once it's all mixed together. I have to move that one with a uh, chisel and a hammer. There's only a little clip too, it's barely worth it, but... Yeah, it's off. I've got loads of boards which look like this, but a different style. I've already uh, done so many in these videos of those types. Weird to see it look like this. Really mini quad. She's our hammer again. This box of balls does look like higher grade than the uh, other box I've been doing. Hopefully they are, because that means more chips in a shorter amount of time I should be able to remove. Um, where's my wider chisel? So we want for this. There's music in the background. Yeah, there's music in the background, so I'm hoping you uh, can't hear it on the video because I get copyright striked. Little crystal fell off after that in my little crystal pot. Bend it back and forward. Until it comes off. Little LED. So all the chips are that board. This looks like a low grade board, but it's actually quite nice looking for when it comes to chips. Get all these off with the uh, pliers. Move these little ones quick as well. Nice flat pack. Those chips are yield one of the best out of all of them, just because they're real thin. But they still have loads of on wires in. Some of these boards are good for BGAs, which that'd be a uh, video once all the ICs are off. All that. Oh yeah, the top of the TV boards. A little I see. Nice on that side. It's a little mini rope, super mini I see. I wouldn't normally remove, but nice and close to the side. Quad here. Are 
this now. It's one of those heat sinks that hold it down. It's the reason it's joking to come off. More dip chips. I think we're going to have a lot of these in this video. Next video, I might get my telecom out as well. We'll go through some telecom. Then my own personal telecom, those ones. These ones are other people's I do for them. And then we split the money at the end. Guess in the back's making it hard. Snap it off quick. Nice big dip chip, I like these. Add up nice and fast. I will be doing a video on these. I've mentioned it in every single scaffolding video I'll do a video on these, but I want to bring this one up specifically because it looks like it's real full of gold. That one would be good to do. This one's pretty much just little chips and one quad. Some big MLCCs on here. It's bigger than the actual uh, little chips. <laughs> kind of a rubbish board, really. Got some little gold fuse out there. Some transistors. Ali doing a uh, dip chip. Hopefully, if this video does end up being an hour, I'll be able to fill this pot up. That'd be nice. If I do that, probably be the uh, most I've done in an hour. Fat sold on the back there. <laughs> Be nice to collect. I just done a video just not long from out, from out today, off um oh it's a nice board nice board. Off mountain pewter. Which is pretty much just tin. And that's basically what solder is, almost just tin. So when you see big fat pieces of solder like that, it's real nice to nice to see. Seen as tins worth like four or five, well, probably even more than five times copper price at the moment. Good metal. That's on the back. Loads in the back here.
quite excited to do all the uh, go petted pieces just to see what we get. Make one of these. Another board done. Let's do another one. I like these boards, so I'm glad there's a few. Nice and quick to do, there's nothing really in the chips way. Big board here. Well, it's not big, it's just heavy. There's just one little tiny IC on the back. This board feels, looks like it should be better than it is, but just a few small ICs everywhere scattered around, and then you've got some nice looking ones in here. A few nice, cool looking things. Gold plated MOSFET there. Gold plated button. It's probably just brass, though. Eh? Oh. Got to piece them. Nice uh, mix of MLCCs on here as well. Move the quad. That quad, I know I'm not going to be able to get off with the player. It's just a little thin one. It's so much easier to move the bigger um, ICs as well, let alone the extra gold in them for its time to remove. So, all the ICs are back on. Got to mention, remove the batteries on them. It's the next one, same again. I'll just remove all the little ones and then put the big ones at the end. Because nobody cares about the little ones. <laughs> the big ones are there. Uh, you get to see you on camera. Drop to the I see them. Okay. I didn't have much battery on my camera to begin with so might not be able to make this video as long as I want it to be but 
If I could, two hours would be even nicer, but I know it won't last. Here's the big ones now. Just twist them off nice and easy. Put some dip chips down here. And then just a little quad. I love this ball because all the pins are fully plated on all the components. I've done a few this far. Nice little board with a uh, plate and everywhere. That's the type of board I'd love to have loads off to do, recover. Well, I do have loads of boards which is like this, but empty. Slightly better than this actually. With tens of kilos of them, so that'd be another future video. But I want to do them alongside with the, my phone boards because they're not like this, they're like um, big office phone boards and things like that. Boards. Everyone who always sends me boards always send me a load of these. <laughs> Every single one. I suppose they probably find them everywhere. So you've got a little dip chip down there. A couple of little ICs. And then we've got two medium sized chips. Oh, there's a little IC in here as well. any little mini IC so it's barely worth worrying about that cut out and then we just got these two medium sized chips see another one here exact same that's all that done the chip. same again I think this person only sent me two So now it's just these two big, well not really big, but medium. Another one up here. How's that done? Low grade. Low grade's always got a couple dip chips. Solder again, really thick. When I recover that, I'll make sure I've got a uh, better mass than I do have. Because the boards are going to burn a little bit. And I'm going to be doing a lot of, a lot of them. Them. This one's just full of um, transistors, pretty much, and a couple of uh, dip chips. Chip, chip, think come off very nice. Broke up. Right. Got it off. I'll take this back a little bit to get everything down. Another board with a big dip chip and a few others. 
the dirt ditch at last. We've got a nice medium sized chip again, a bit like on the uh, sky boards here. Just that, another dirt chip here. Tiny bit icy in here. And then we'll just remove the little ones. I'm going to use the cap of this metal thing, little steel cap, because normally there's ICs underneath, just the one. I need the chisel. This little um, quad here. Finally a step jet. Okay. I need a little tiny piece sort of fall off, could have, the bomb wire, could have some bomb wires in, so catch it in the pot, twist it off nice and quick. I noticed there was a small IC up here. And that's that done. Again, there's loads of uh, sold nowhere near as much as the other boards, but there's some thick sold on that thing. More with fat ICs. Move the little ones again first. Um, ditch it there. These two are removed with a chisel. Another board, just a couple ICs on here. Is that done already? How much battery got left? Oh, it's only lost half the battery since I started. One half an hour. I'll just keep going until the battery's gone then. On 22%. <laughs> Transistors on this board. It's a small IC and a little tiny quad. Another one of these, I think it's a um, uh, office phone board. I might make a whole video on crystal oscillators. I've mentioned again on that on all my videos, but I'm really excited to process a few kilos of them. Have any ever had good results? Going back to the little chips. <laughs> 
most of these boards now. This pot's filling up quite fast, quite heavy as well. Considering we've only spent half an hour for sure. I think we've done the most we've done so far since uh, these hour strap videos we've been doing. around an hour and just seem to get bored after an hour on camera I do carry on afterwards with other stuff mostly moving like uh, heat sinks and things like that Transistors again. That's all we seem to really get are these uh, logo boards. Let's hope they yield well. Little uh, aluminium capacitor I've got in there. If you like casting videos, let me know. And any ideas on uh, that tin I got on what to make, let me know and I'll uh, do it. Another one of these. I'm trying to get to boards which don't have the uh, heat sinks on. <laughs> Obviously I haven't sorted through these ones yet. There's good enough money in heat sinks anyway to for it to be worth it, so not a problem removing them. And some have like aluminium casings to the whole board and things like that. I like these boards. Let's remove the small ones again, like we've done the other two times. All through it once then. Dropped it, nearly. Now we'll just do these bigger ones. Now we'll move 
remove this battery and go straight in the bin. The little ones. Nice long one. Again, we'll just do the little chips first. Now let's remove these big ones. Now just the transistors. That's that then. We've got another one. Again, today has been a lot of little chips, but seem to have got quite a few today, I think I've worked a lot faster today. Gonna remove the transistors. Now we'll just move these big ICs, or bigger ones. These have like little copper spools in them, but these bits do. But we'll just remove the ICs from the outside of it. Back to dip chips. <laughs> Bunch of them again. We'll just move these. Uh, Transistors first. Let's remove 
little ditch up there. All these ducks stuck down so it's strong. Looking here. We've just got this one last one left. Can we say blurry at the moment? For some reason it's never used to be. Oh yeah, no way. That looks quite cool. It's like a gold transistor in there. So you've got little ICs around the outside of this board. It's quite a high grade board, even this little speaker or battery or whatever it is, has gold plated legs. Hold it to the board. I've not been well for a few days, <laughs> still not well, so I'm not really up to doing much of these boards. But these have a bunch of little LEDs in, so I'll break these off. There's a chisel. There's little gaps between them, so I'm just going to break the gaps so I can get to. Get to them now. Still can't get to them. <laughs> That's not enough. at that time that board done Little ones as usual on this board. Let's do them fast. we we'll take the larger ones off now. The two big chips.
I'm just going to set the torch on the camera so it's easier for you to see now. I'm unable to because I'm low on battery. Got a on this lock for some reason. Full of MLCCs on the back. Got um two nice BGA there and a gold corner BGA, but we're not going for them at the moment. Stick to one component first. The reason I like to do BGA separate is because I also save the solder, so I do it over a uh, pot, special pot. No, it's not special, it's normal, but... Starting to rain. Now the ball got quite a few chips on. This one's mostly taken apart for some reason. It's just the little ICs left. Shanks, I quite like doing these ones. <laughs> I must have done it at some point now. Right then. Another one with the big chips taken off again. You don't get um, gold corner BGA smaller than the uh, small IC, so I can imagine when we do the gold corner BGA, we're going to get a lot of them in an hour. Although it's a lot of sorting through balls to find one that has a gold corner BGA, we make up for it. But let's see.
another one of these boards with the uh, big ones removed. I can find loads now. I definitely wouldn't have done this many because most of what I started was on camera, so these must have just come like that. Tiny little icy on that. Gold corner BGA on here. <laughs> we'll just move in there. Small ones fast. Those are little tiny ones on here. Little DVD player board. Yay, one of these boards with chips on. <laughs> the good ones. Uh, move it at one fast. This one's just got a line of little ones along the top. Nice MRCCs around the outside of them too, so I try not to knock them off. Oh, this one stuck down well. Yeah, nice board. One of the nicest ones of today. But the battery runs out now, so you can't see. Nah, I've got enough battery. I'm 
remove this metal cap just in case there's any chips. Yeah, there's one. We'll just remove everything we need to remove the hammer and chisel first. So we use it. little one in this slot here that's all that done and then on the back Take this little plastic piece off. Just because I had a little alley day on, snap this off. Deck check. And then a bunch of alley days. One of these. Another one. Another one of these. How much battery we got? Two percent. Better. Quickly do this. I'm not got much time. I'll rush this one. So fast. I usually do it off camera, but I do it quick this. Time. That board done. So I'll show you the weight of this now. Yeah, so I just showed you, I think it's going to be quite a lot, it feels really heavy. Um, thanks for watching my video. At 1,000 subscribers, like I keep saying, I'm going to um, do a 24 hour live stream. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment about any video ideas you want. This box is almost full, so I'm actually really happy with that. Yeah, I think it's only been about less than an hour as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.